After doing the herpes, let's uh, see about the pictures of it. The herpes simplex virus. This one is a double stranded linear DNA. I've already told you. And this is what is the picture of that herpes simplex ones. Having a lipid bilayer envelope, nucleocapsid, DNA, this particular one we are talking about. It is also having these glycoproteins, GA, GL, GB, GC. Okay. So this is basically the important thing to remember is linear DNA in this. This is that herpes labialis, which is termed as the most common recurrent herpes lesion. The most common recurrent herpes lesion. That is what is termed as herpes labialis. Multinucleated giant cell in the zinc smear of a tissue scrapping looks like this. This is that multinucleated giant cell formation, also termed as zinc cell. And they are helpful to identify which all HSV1, 2, and HHV3. All these three infections, they are being diagnosed up with the help of this particular zinc smear. The inclusion bodies which are observed in the cytomegalovirus, they look like that. This is what is termed as our eye appearance. And if you remember of, they are mainly both intranuclear, intracytoplasmic and this is actually intranuclear mostly which looks like our eye. So this intranuclear intracytoplasmic inclusion body, it is having this particular shape that is oval eye appearance. Okay, oval eye appearance in this particular one. This is Kaposi sarcoma as I told you, it does lung lesions also, oral lesions also. And it is being caused by this HHV8, human herpes virus 8. Okay, I have to already told up the lesions done by this is KPC. One is Kaposi sarcoma that everybody knows. Another one, they are also being asked nowadays, primary effusion lymphoma and Castleman's disease and Castleman's disease. Okay. So these are the important ones which you need to know. Other than that, you can have this. This is Rosola Infanta done by HHV6 mainly. HHV7 also can do. And these are termed as those Nagayama spots. 